Yeah. You ain't no drug dealing so long, man. Yeah, man. My guy's still reliable. You do, man. You do. I'm telling you, your guy scared me one time, too, man. I told you about that. Right? Oh, that nigga, like... Oh, you ain't even seen them in a while, yo. That nigga cut most of his dreads off. Like, last time I seen him, man, I was at the store. <laughs> I was at the store on my side of town. He only stay I don't know where the nigga stay at. I know every time I see him, was on your side of town. Right. So I seen him, like, he was coming. And he was looking at me, and he walked back to the car real fast. Like, he had to get something out of his car or something. And he said, I forgot what he said to me, man. He like, yo, what's up, man? I think he called me by my name man. or something, you know. You called me by my real name. Right. Hey man, who the fuck is yeah. you, bro? Called me by my name. Then I looked at him again, like, oh man. He scared me though, man. I was at the gas station. <laughs> he looked at me and said, he said, yo, what's up? <coughs> he said my name. He said, ain't you? I'm like, yeah. So I'm pumping the gas and my gas pump was on the driver's side. Right. The gun is on the damn passenger side in the glove department. I'm looking like, God man. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking like man this ain't no it ain't gonna go down like that the thing is it, it was gonna go down because I had my keys in my pocket but the, the, um, the gun locked up in the glove department I'm already on the driver's side right so that means I had right. to go either dive in the, um, the car or go around get the key out put it inside of the box and fire away so I could have got got man but